How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Today we're going to be taking on two big gyms. We're going to be taking on the Fighting Gym and we're going to be taking on the Psychic Gym. Both are going to be pains in the asses. I don't recall what Pokemon we have that are strong in either category, so we're just going to start walking on over and hope for the best here today. Let's make our way over. I, I really don't know guys. I don't know how we're gonna fare here. We might do really well, you know? That's always like the, the expectation is you want to do really well. Um, yeah, usually not the reality though. So we'll see. I'm gonna start with the fighting gym. First we're just gonna figure out like which Pokemon are strong against fighting types. Um, I mean Kadabra likely will be, but he's level 37 already. Let's try Blastoids. I think Surf and stuff should be able to hold off people, but we'll see. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. That's right, I am. Oh, he's a black belt with a Machop. Oh, let's see, guys. I think Surf will do a good chunk of damage. I don't know if it'll be super effective, though. To be honest, I don't really know what is. I think that's doing the trick. Yes, let's switch. Let's just, let's figure it out. That's my goal here. I just want to figure it out. What's strong, what's not strong, etc. I always go for these, but I don't think Ice Beam's strong against fighting types. Didn't seem exceptionally strong. Let's wrap them in. Finish him up that way. The fighting gym shouldn't be that bad, honestly. I'm gonna try and get through it in just one big swoop. Uh, we'll use Kadabra. I don't know what we're gonna use against Psychic either, because Psychic is pretty much... <sighs> the absolute unit in this game. A Psychic is strong against fighting. Great. Probably the only Pokemon we don't need to level up. Right now. Like, there's just no reason to. I, I didn't even read what that guy said. That's... These two gyms are just gonna be a pain to get through. First, I think we're very overranked if not just slightly overranked Sabrina's gym though is gonna be there's gonna be a lot of healing going on yes let's put in Pikachu I know it's not a great matchup but I think Pikachu's one of our lowest level guys right now and um Venusaur can't do shit here, so. But we are, like I said, maybe not this episode, but maybe the next one, depending on how this one goes. We'll be heading out on our surfing expedition down to Blaine's Island here. So Venusaur will get a good chunk of EXP on the way to that, so. He breaks boulders for training, this guy. Okay. I was gonna say, he only has one Pokemon, so it must be a good Pokemon. It's a Primeape, which is a good, a solid choice for a fighting type. Especially in Gen 1. Can't go wrong. Kinda sucks that he missed. He's for his own sake. I mean, for us, it's a good thing, I guess, but... Take our shoes off, folks. Okay, we got three this time. Gonna use same strategies as before. Just whatever works, do it. 
I think we're in no jeopardy of losing this gym. Yeah, we did that one gym that was way ahead of us. I think that's the only time we've even seen a hardship in one of these places. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident that we could just blast right through this gym. Ah, we missed. Don't use rap, just make him submit to us. Doesn't matter, buddy. Can't attack. Got him down. <sighs> I'm gonna say no. If Dragonair dies here, it's 100% my fault. But Dragonair needs some good EXP. I feel like this is a good opportunity. We might as well just use Ice Beam again. We'll at least get it. Okay, and he leveled up, which is really what we were looking for there. Like that health is now in the 100 category. It's a very comfortable spot that everybody's, except for Cadaver and Pikachu. Uh, we're gonna give, if we have any potions, we're gonna give one to Pikachu. We do. This is more just to be safe. We'll give one to Dragonair as well. Like, it, it's just more to stay on the safe side of things here. I'm expecting no mercy per his request five seconds ago. Expecting absolutely no mercy here. I think he just has two. Hit my lean, hit my champ. Hit my champ. Sorry. Surf on him. We're the same level. It's gonna say so. It shouldn't be a blowout, but then that just happened. So, yeah, not really much to say there. Ice Beam. Out of both of them, I would take a vote on which one we're getting, but like, Hitmonchan is, in my opinion, just cooler looking. So that's what we're gonna go with. Sorry, Hitmon Lee fans, but. Oh, we actually don't get... He's not like an official gym. I didn't realize that. Uh, let's go through the first series of... Let's go through like the first series. We're gonna have to battle everybody in here, otherwise we're gonna get lost. So we might as well just go through the first couple leaders. It's gonna suck, guys. Just so you know. This gym is gonna be miserable. Why'd we do that? No idea. This is what we wanted to go with. Cause he has water type. At least Slowpoke does, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think this water move is gonna do all that much to him. Yeah, it, it at least knocked him out. Blastoids, becoming the leader of our clan. Holy shit. What a move by Blastoids, did not expect that today. 
Ice Beam. Maybe that's what we get from overtraining these underpowered Pokemon. Thunder Wave. Let's paralyze him. Dragonair is going to have a tough time anyways. It's fully paralyzed. That's what we like to see. Yeah, Dragonair did well. Yes, for Slowbro we absolutely will. Let's see, I, I don't... That's, they might just be Psychic type in this game, not like Water Psychic. But I'm hoping that they are Water Psychic so that way Pikachu can do a... Yeah, good. That way he can get a solid chunk of damage in, get some experience points here. There we go, that's what we'd like to see. That was a very easy, easy introduction to the Psychic types. We just moved one up. I I'm well aware of that lady. I think we're gonna see some slow bros again, maybe a drowsy. Oh, Mr. Mime. Hmm. This is what I mean, these are always a surprise with the, the Psychic types. There's not very many of them in Gen 1, and none really... I think she'll have an Alakazam. Which is really gonna be... We need to find out right off the bat. We're gonna go Kadabra versus Kadabra. We need to find out if Tri-Attack is gonna help. Because that's kind of what I'm banking on. I, I really hope it does, but I'm not sure. Okay. It does a good chunk. We could at least win with try attack we know now. We're going to need it for Alakazam cuz he's going to he's going to rough us up quite a bit. Oh, that's how we got there, isn't it? Let's see this game Moved one up again. Okay. Kadabra. Like, it's it's a psychic gym, so it's not really a surprise. I just know how much of a pain in the ass Kadabra is to beat. We have one on our team. Oh. That kind of sucks. Okay, I guess it's not that bad. <sighs> I... This is what's confusing, right? So Pikachu did good damage against Slowpoke. Because he has that water type ability. So in theory, Mega Drain should do pretty damn good damage to Slowpoke. It does. I could swear I've done that before, and it doesn't. Maybe I'm just a moron. I don't know. But if that's the case, any slowpoke we see, we're gonna train Venusaur here. Yes. Um, Dragonair is a little bit low. He's our lowest level right now. Besides Venusaur, but... Venusaur is gonna get slammed if he stays in there. Psychic moves against Venusaur are like a no-no. Okay, so he's just being an asshole right now, is what's going on. And that's what a lot of these Psychic types do. No, Let, let's try and slam it out here. See how good slam does against Kadabra. Very well. Okay. I'm actually feeling like pretty, pretty positive. I think this one maybe? 
I, I don't know like what order we're supposed to be going into. I'm just trying to trying to navigate around it and then heal before we fight Sabrina because I know she has an Alakazam and that's going to be a world of shit. Okay, Blastoids isn't going to do much. So let's switch in Venusaur. Water Gun isn't going to do anything. Mega Drain. We're just going to continuously get our health back here. Raising the defenses. Understandable. Let's use Vine Whip. He didn't attack, so we're good to just all out assault. Withdraw. Good. And we could just cut our way to victory. Oh my god. Man, his defenses really go up when he does that. Holy shit. When I use Withdraw on Blastoise, it doesn't do anything. Venusaur went up a level. Good. So now Venusaur and Dragonair are tied for our lowest level Pokemon right now. Which is good. We have some balance on the team. Um, okay. Should we do it? Should we just go for it? I mean, we'll be skipping some of the... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's, I know it's not our, our typical style, but... Okay, she's gonna show us her powers. Holy shit. Okay, we may be in trouble. Now she's gonna try and do that just to like really raise the Pokemon's powers here, but I don't think they have all that great. Yeah, it, it's just kind of to psych us out this first Pokemon. I think we're gonna go in like guns a blazing, which is technically what we're doing. But Blastoids isn't our only strong Pokemon, and that's kind of what she's relying on with this strategy here. Yes, we want to switch. We want to use Dragonair. Now, Kadabra is going to be, yeah, level 50. It's pretty damn good. So, one hit and we're dead. Hopefully, it hits. Okay, its accuracy is going down. We didn't ever hit it. So it, it has nothing to replenish. I don't know why it's speeding up. Cadaver's already extremely speedy. He's gonna kill us here, one shot. Son of a bitch. Yep. Let's use Charizard. Now, hopefully, we could burn it or something. That's probably it. Charizard, don't do it, buddy. Don't. It's just gonna do the same thing again. Yeah. It's like, is it really worth it? It actually might have been. It is now. Yeah, that was a worthwhile move. No. Because Alakazam could decimate us here. We just, we want to start assaulting Alakazam before he can get in time to do anything. That's it for Charizard. He's done.
Pikachu's not gonna be able to do much. Let's try. Maybe we could paralyze him. Let's at least get in a quick attack before he kills us. Yeah. He's gonna outspeed all of our Pokemon. Um, let's throw Blastoids in there. Blastoids has a very strong defense. So he might be able to tank a hit. And that's kind of all we're gonna ask of him, is just to tank one hit. Maybe we could get a critical here. Okay. The Blastoids might be able to beat Alakazam here. Yep, he did. Success. Blastoids, you earned it, buddy. Not as much, or not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. do like one minute worth of research so I can compare what like if this is worthwhile TM 46 Pokemon yellow let's look at what TM 46 it's psych wave I was looking more for like the damage and things like that. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long, so give me one sec. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Looking at it now. Psych wave. 80% variable damage randomly affects set damage between a minimum of 1 HP and a maximum of 1.5 times the user's level. <sighs> I don't. I, I like reliability. Can anybody else learn it? Other than Kadabra? Did we do it? Let's see what else Kadabra knows. Psychic. I'm too nervous to do it, guys. I I'm gonna be straight up honest with you. I'm just... It's not going to be my, my area of expertise there. I don't think any of them will challenge us now. But now we need to find a way out of the gym. The key to doing this is to just walk on random pads until you... Until you get where you need to go. Okay, I think that was the right path. Like here up here then maybe down here maybe over here guys I have no idea I'm fucking lost right now it's definitely because we went down it seems like it's not though it seems like it's over here eventually we gotta get out of here right Ooh. We got an escape rope somewhere, didn't we? Did I sell it? I well, guess what, guys? It looks like I fucking sold it. 
I really don't. Can we just ask? Do you have directions, ma'am? I didn't even battle you. Okay, where are we at in terms of people? We didn't even come over here. Okay, this is the top right. So to get here, we used. We went up here. Now this is the bottom right, which is the first place we go, which means it has to be either this one, which it's not, or this one, which it's not, or this one, which it is. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, we have a chicken wing winner. Do-do-do, boo-do-do-do-do. I don't like playing fucking games anymore. No, 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 no. No, I'm just kidding, guys. It, this is fun. It's just, you know, it is what it is. It's sometimes it's yeah, bite a little bit more than you really care to have. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm stupid, guys. Well, we finished that a lot quicker than I thought we were gonna. Let's go get some items, and let's surf across that blue sea. Or at least start surfing. But first, let's make a quick stop at the Pokestop. <laughs> Sell some of our shit, and get on the road. Get your hair checked out. Uh, where is the mart? Is there a mart in this town? I know we walked past it like eight times, guys. I'm just being... My brain is just stupid today. I felt it all day. I'm gonna continue to feel it. Stop in here. You got anything important to say? Not a damn thing. We have everything we need, so I'm not really investigating like much anymore. You know, once you get all the TMs and things like that, or all the HMs, there's not really like much more that you need to progress with the game. So let's let's hang on to that psychic move. That could be really helpful, but hold on. Let, let's do like like a quick inventory check on the TMs, because I've sold good TMs. Okay, self-destruct. No. Bad idea. Earthquake. No. Uh, we don't want to sell Earthquake, is what I mean. Takedown. No, we do want to sell Takedown. Okay. We want to sell Takedown which was this first one up here. And we want to sell self-destruct, which was not this one, but it was this one. Okay. We'll sell the full heal. Now we'll buy Hyper Potions, like 20 of them, revives, let's get 10, and then we'll leave one grand for whatever we need. We have a good amount of items, let's go down to the Pokemart one more time. Just to put away some of the older items that we're not going to be using anymore, so that way we don't clog up our inventory and get hosed like we do every fucking episode that I play this goddamn game. But, um, after that, we'll, we'll go on a peaceful journey <laughs> to the ocean. I don't think we taught a Pokemon fly yet. Pokemon, Jesus. Pokemon. Pokemon. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Deposit item. We want to deposit 
Is there the good rod? We want to deposit the card key. Let's deposit these two M's. Don't want to forget about them. When we go back and we beat the the game with our other Pokemon, it's going to be vital to have those. Do we need the Poke Flute anymore? I'm going to kick myself in the ass if we do, but I really don't believe we do. So I'm going to put the Poke Flute away. Ah. Oh. We for sure need the town map. Did we heal everybody? Everybody looks fine. Oh, well, I just I looked up the things and honestly Charizard doesn't learn that many fire moves in this game. So I think we're gonna teach Charizard fly. He already knows strength. I don't like to teach a Pokemon two moves there, but I mean, Dragonair has a long time before it learns fly. Can we... Okay. Slash. That's fine. At least fly is one of those effective moves that, like, it has stats. Let's go back to Pal Town. It's been a while since we've been there. Let's go talk to the old man. have the item finder I want exp share actually can I just have that one that one would be better I don't know guys I don't know I don't know this guy just saying I talked to a lot of guys in my day are there any towns we haven't visited this looks like the ocean towns. Okay, so immediately what we're gonna be doing here. This is why we got revives, it's why we got potions. So we have two useful Pokemon out here. We got Venusaur, we got Pikachu. We're starting with Venusaur. We're gonna start. Right now, we're gonna give it a good 20 to 30 minutes out here. Just grinding through this fucking ocean. Let's use our Pokemon. Who knows Surf? I know a homie that does. This girl looks at the sea to forget. She's not gonna forget the ass whooping she's about to get right here and right now. Or this guy, I guess. Horsey? Fuck you, horsey. What you gotta say about that? Little horse type Pokemon. Boom. Dead. No. Venusaur's got a vengeance and he's killing every son of a bitch out here. Today, right now. At least until he runs out of Vine Whip. <laughs> now, it, it feels good to not be in a position where we suck anymore. Like, okay, just to put it in perspective, Sabrina was the same level 
she had the same level Pokemon as that gym right above this town had. And we fought that a few episodes ago. So it was like very obvious that we were screwed. Um, let's catch one of these real quick. We definitely did not catch a ton of Pokemon throughout this game. Oh my god, I almost clicked the Master Ball. Oh my god. That's just... What the hell are you talking about? Ultra Ball. Our box is full. I forgot that in this game. The actual box gets full. What do we do when the box is full? Hold on, we need to sort this out. What the fuck do we do then? That puts like a cap on how many Pokemon we can have. Hopefully that fixes it. I don't know too much about this, and hopefully we didn't just lose all of our first generation Pokemon there. Like all the Pokemon we caught in the beginning that we're supposed to go back and beat the Elite Four with once more. Hopefully that just didn't fucking happen. Because I'd like to create like a second dream team in this game. I'm not sure if I'll do it actually in this game. Or if I, I'll wait until red and green and just use a completely different team but yeah i started thinking about how much work that's gonna be guys and honestly fuck that that sounds like so much work i know i usually don't go back on my word on this channel but that's like hours of content for you guys to watch i'd have to make like a four hour montage video I mean, however long it took us to get here is how long it would take us to do that. It's not very effective. That's right, Tentacool's the bitch. I always forget about that son of a bitch out here. Yes. Pikachu will handle all Tentacool from now on. I think that's because they're water and psychic or something like that. I don't know, between them and Slowbro, it's, it's way too much to keep track of, honestly. We really want Venusaur to level up out here, though. We want to be, like, level 38 before reaching the actual island we're about to go to. He's not going to be of much use there, but... It'll just be less grinding we have to do, like, towards the end of the game, because before we reach the Elite Four, we want everybody to be in the mid-50s. No, if not the upper 50s. Like, it's... It's, like, impossible. We'll never get to where we want to be, but... We could try. No, we don't want to... We don't want to waste too many Pokeballs on Tentacool, honestly. He's not that great. Okay, let's run. I wish we saw a level 5 one again. I wonder if we, uh... I've never tried this, but let's, let's use the Super Rod out here. Oh, I guess we can't. That's fucking dumb. Might just give us a useless item. I can't use the Super Rod while being on the back of my Pokemon. Kind of seems like a load of shit. Okay. Want to switch Pokemon, go into Pikachu right away. Fuck me. They're using the average Joe tactic, ladies and gentlemen. 
We haven't seen it in a while. Bellsprout has not been on the loose lately. But now we're seeing it again once more. In the form of Tentacool. Okay. No. We ain't gonna switch. Sorry, I'm kind of multitasking right now with my hands. Putting out a smoke and still trying to keep the content rolling. Here we go. Yes, for Staryu we will. Staryu's a cool Pokemon. Yeah, you see, I, I'd love to do a dream team like I've stated in the past couple episodes, but I got to thinking about it, and my dream team isn't like, especially for yellow, it's not substantially different than what we have. The only thing I would change is I like Lapras a little bit more than Blastoids. So we, we could legitimately have the dream team if we wanted it. The thing is, is it worth the work? And anytime I think about it, my answer goes immediately to hell no. I think ice should be strong against water. Nope. Not at all. Actually, I'm a dumbass. Let's use Thunder Wave on him. Oh my god. Fuck you, buddy. Of course. Of fucking course. Son of a bitch. I was hoping at least Dragon Air would level up there. I think we kept two antidotes. Pikachu, you earned one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. Goldeen. Okay, we're running low on Vine Whips. Not a problem, but something to make a mental note of. Pikachu, get out there. It's a cool- Sea King's a cool Pokemon. I've never had a use for it on my team, though. Just... Not great. Like, it's good. Not great is how I would define it. It's about to kick my ass right now. I don't think there's too many water type people out here, honestly. Can you have my blastoids? Uh, go to hell, buddy. Lady, ma'am, sorry. Poliwag. See, that's like so much cooler of a Pokemon than Sea King. It just doesn't make sense why you'd go with Sea King. I think that's always been my. I like, why the hell would anybody do that? Kind of thought. We do have Mega Drain. We could start using some of that, but it's not as useful. Against water types, it should be, but yeah. We'll try it against Sea King. We'll see how it does. Like I said, this is like really one of the only spots we're going to be able to really level up Venusaur really well. So it's vital that we get all the grinding done here for him. 
if possible. You know myself, I'm, I'm trying to stick to an hour or below anymore, honestly. Just some of these episodes have gone way too long. This one might be a bit of a longer one. We're definitely not going to go and get the, the fire badge or whatever the hell it is. Polywag. Yeah, we'll switch. Pikachu's low right now. Uh, so is Dragonair, but we can't really do shit about that right now. So. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, as I said, you know, we're gonna try our best to level up Venusaur, because this is, like, the spot for Venusaur, but, you know, we can only get so much grinding in for him. Hopefully it's a low level. No, uh, 15 resisted us before. Maybe if we could just get, like, a cut in. Okay, that kills him. I also get lost out here on the waters a lot, so this will be fun. Ooh, a level 5 tentacle, we could definitely catch him. I swear to god. We're wasting Ultra Balls on a tentacle. I stand corrected, we're wasting Ultra Balls on a level 5 Tentacool. There's so many better Pokemon. Okay. I can swim just fine, but my Blastoids, he's pretty good at it, son. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, Mr. Burnt. I, I don't know, guys. I'm my brain is fading today. I don't have much content left in my bones. No. Let's get all of his grinding out of the way first and then we can focus on everybody else. He's at 38, which was our goal. I mean, if he makes it to 40, I will be enormously impressed. That'll be a good goal for Venusaur moving forward. I mean, he'll always be a good backup Pokemon out here because no one can really do shit to him. So that's important to remember. That one should have got him a good chunk. Yeah, we'll switch. We'll give Pikachu some, some experience here. And we're once again in the realm where, I mean, we're almost 10 levels higher than Horsey here. We, now we are, yeah. It's... The water's shallow here, guys. In case you were curious. I have to go out and grab another beer in a minute. First, we'll use Mega Drain on this guy. I think Ice might be strong against Cloyster. I might be wrong, but I really do have a gut feeling that Ice does a good chunk against Cloyster. I'm wrong. Yeah, now he's gonna annihilate me. Holy shit. Let's try slam. No, we don't wanna... Oh my god, we have to use a revive. Fuck. That was embarrassing. I don't know if we can use a thunder... A thunderstone on Pikachu in this game.
Use a revive. Use one on Dragon Air. Pikachu. Okay. There's gonna be like a, a 30 to 40 second intermission here while I go out and I grab another beer, but I'll be right back, guys. Give me one sec. Okay, guys, listen to this here. That's the sound of happiness right there. Uh, told you I'd be back soon enough. Let's follow these barriers all the way to our, our location. Ah, shit. Care what level you are, I ain't fucking with these guys no more. Just cutting them all to death. Every single one of them. Unless the trainer has them, of course. Oh, if this is the island. Now, these are the sea foam islands. What's here? Hold on a hot second. Oh my god, we almost just got fucking annihilated. Thank god. Slow bro. Slow poke. Jesus, I'm dumb. Um, no, fuck these, man. Fuck them. I don't want any part to do with this. This looks like really bad news to me. I'll just use wrap just to kill him real quick. He got leveled up. Uh, we will come back here. Science, we can fly here. I don't think we can, but. Let's look at our Charizard. Let's see where we are on the map. Because we only have a little bit to go. There's something here. That much I know. I don't know what it is, but. There's stuff there. Shit. That's not what we want. Let's give him let's give this guy one more chance here. The ultra ball. I hate to waste him. <sighs> Level five, ten of cool ladies and gentlemen. In my mind, I said Dragonair can do it. Let's let's get him out there. So let's give it a try. Now that I see it's a, a Sea King, I don't think he can, but... Hell, we're gonna try. Dragonair already did level up, but Dragonair is so underleveled right now. You son of a bitch, Dragonair. I swear to fucking God, man. Uh, oh my god. Holy fuck. Yeah, I know, I can count. Oh. Let's see. 
He was 37. Who else 37? Let's get Charizard some action. I know he's weak against um, water type Pokemon, but this is an easy way to get him some action here. I don't think there's any possible way to get Venusaur to level 40 before we reach there, just based on how low our moves are right now. I'm pretty fed up right now. Not gonna lie. Why do they offer us this down road path when I feel like we can't utilize it? Alright, we'll try Blastoids and we'll try going down and around, but I feel like the only way to get there is to go back to Pallet Town. Yep. That appears to be fucking true. we'll get to heal and we'll get double the experience for Venusaur, I guess. I don't know what else to say, guys. We completely got fucking blindsided there. Decided. Maybe you're looking at it and you're saying, Average Joe, you're a fucking moron. But... You know what? For good luck here, we're gonna stand right here. I'm gonna go under items. We're gonna use the Super Rod. For good luck, we got not even a nibble. Okay, we got something on the hook. I'm hoping it's a Gyarados. I mean, the Seafoam Islands. Oh. Okay. This is something that is worth. something. I don't know. I think this is worth two or three Ultra Balls, in my opinion. A Tentacruel is a pretty damn cool Pokemon. We got it with one. That was a pretty solid find. go down here. We'll do the same thing. Let's use a super rod. See what we can catch. Ooh, a star you. Even fucking cooler, folks. As long as it doesn't regain all the health. Shit. Kind of debating on what to do here. So we want to catch it. I've never had a star you on my team. Okay, we'll seed it. Okay, here's our chance. It went on the offensive. 
means the stats are a little bit down. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we're gonna go back to Pokemon. We're gonna go Charizard Fly. It appears the only way we can really get there is to go to Pal Town and to go straight down. But because it is an hour, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I don't want to bore you. There's no Poke Center in this town, is there? Fuck. Let's go somewhere where there's a Poke Center. Okay, go ahead and take them. Let's go back to Pokemon, fly. Go back to Pal Town. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and right here is where we're gonna start our next episode. We're gonna wrap it up here. Um, you know, it's it's been quite a journey today. There's been a lot of heated tensions. Um, as you can tell through the tone of my voice, I was not really in the mood, but we still got that out for you. You know, still making content, still doing the Let's Play stuff, so that way you guys can enjoy any of these episodes. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please feel free to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, even if it's just to tell me that I'm a piece of shit or garbage. I really don't care. But until the next one, guys, we'll see you later, and peace out. Have a good one.